How can I avoid ISF penalties for manual single serve brewers? Welcome back to our customs brokerage video series. In today's episode, we will be discussing an important topic that many importers are curious about. How to avoid ISF penalties for manual single serve brewers. If you're an importer of these popular coffee machines, it's crucial to understand the requirements and how to ensure compliance with the importer security filing ISF regulations. Let's dive right in. First, let's quickly recap what an importer security filing ISF is. The ISF is a mandatory filing requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all ocean cargo shipments arriving in the United States. It must be submitted at least 24 hours before the cargo is loaded on a vessel overseas. Failure to file or inaccuracies in the filing can result in severe penalties, including fines, shipment delays, and even cargo holds or rejections. Now, let's focus specifically on manual single-serve brewers. These machines are becoming increasingly popular for coffee lovers around the world. However, importers of manual single-serve brewers need to be aware of the specific ISF requirements to avoid penalties. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Firstly, it's important to accurately identify the manual single-serve brewers being imported. The ISF requires importers to provide specific information such as the harmonized system HS, code, which classifies the product, and the manufacturer identification number MID, if applicable. These details ensure that CBP can assess the potential risk associated with the imported goods effectively. Secondly, proper container and vessel information should be included in the ISF filing. This includes details such as the container number, seal number, and vessel name. Accurate information helps customs authorities track and account for each shipment, ensuring efficient and secure movement of goods while minimizing risks. Thirdly, ensure that your customs broker is well-versed in ISF requirements and has experience handling manual single-serve brewer imports. A knowledgeable customs broker will be able to guide you through the process, submit the ISF accurately, and help you avoid costly penalties. <music> Lastly, compliance with the ISF timeline is crucial. Importers must submit the ISF no later than 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel at the port of origin. This deadline should not be taken lightly, as missed or late filings can result in penalties. It is advisable to work closely with your customs broker to ensure timely and accurate submissions. In conclusion, to avoid ISF penalties for manual single-serve brewers, importers must pay close attention to accurate product identification, provide container and vessel information, work with an experienced customs broker, and comply with the ISF timeline. Staying on top of these requirements will help ensure a smooth and compliant import process. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. We hope you found this information valuable. Be sure to watch our upcoming videos to learn more about customs brokerage, customs bonds, and other essential topics in the world of international trade. Disclaimer note below. Until then, stay informed and compliant. Goodbye.